Hey, how's it going everybody and welcome to a brand new Elden Ring video and today I'm going to be showing you really really awesome rune farming methods. These are some of the best ones in the game and they will guarantee you a ton of runes and plus on top of that there is a freaking cheese boss that actually happens as you're doing the farm so it is very useful if you need to kill this boss but it's literally something that just happens in the background it's very easy so definitely take advantage of these methods but as always before we dive deeper into this video a quick word from today's sponsor if you guys want to purchase some in-game items for eldering check out messy modding links down below right so firstly we're going to go ahead and actually show you the farm that actually has a boss cheese in itself so you're going to open up your map and then travel to this location right over here. This is the underworld, but this is more like the space part of the underworld. Once you're at this rest point, you are going to proceed to jump on your mount and then just simply follow the exact same pathway as I take. Once you make it to this location right here, I do recommend you put on your lantern because it's a little bit dark, but you're going to proceed to do a curve jump just like you see me do. Your objective is to actually jump and land on this rock just like this. Once you've landed on it, you are then going to proceed to do another curve jump and then jump on a platform above this one, the rock side. Once here, you're going to simply follow the path where I take, just jump on the same rock as I'm jumping, make your way all the way to the end of this like cliff side. Once here, you could either pop a golden pickled foot and a scarab if you have both of them. A golden scarab, of course, that will just give you a bunch of extra runes. But you're going to proceed to do a single jump, then a double jump, and then swing your weapon as you are falling down the cliff. You're going to fall for about 40 to 60 seconds. And after that, if this is your first time here, you are going to get a boss kill. You're going to get a weapon and a bunch of runes. Now, usually when you farm this location, you get around... 30 to 70,000 runes every time. But if you do the boss method, you're going to get around 250,000 runes. But keep in mind, the boss can only be killed once. If you want to farm this location, you're going to be getting significantly less runes. But at the end of the day, it's still a overpowered rune farm because it is basically getting runes for not doing anything, not even killing enemies. But yeah, this is basically the method. Upon receiving the runes, you're going to open up your map, travel back to the location where we started this off, and then rinse and repeat this, and you can farm it for as long as you want. Now, moving on to the second method, this one, in my opinion, is one of my favorite, just excluding the boss because there is no boss in this one. But you're going to open up your map and then once again travel to the underworld. This time, we're going to be going to the other side where the red area is. You're going to specifically make your way over to this location on the map. Once here, there is going to be a tree in front of you. You're going to proceed to start scaling the cliffside and the tree, just like you see me do. Make your way on the side of this cliff, climb it to the top. Once you make it all the way to the top of the cliffside, you're going to proceed to actually just follow the pathway once more that I had said. You're going to start climbing these rocks, making your way across. You're going to jump across this crevice between the rocks, and then you're going to jump inside of this hole here. You can land on the platform just like you see me do this one right here, and then proceed to turn around, do a single jump, then a double jump, and then swing your weapon as you're falling once again after about 40 to 60 seconds you can get anywhere from 150 all the way upwards to a freaking million runes depending on whichever playthrough you're on so the higher the playthrough the more runes you will obtain so if you're on your first one you're looking at about 100 plus thousand runes but if you're on your like six seven eight plus playthrough you're looking at around a million runes and that is without a golden pickled foot nor a scarab but after you do receive the runes from falling you're going to open up your map and then you can travel to any rest point is location because at the end of the day your objective is actually to get to that location every single time so you can climb the tree and of course rinse and repeat the method but that's pretty much it for the farming methods both of them are really good and you should definitely take advantage of them because they do work after the latest updates if you have any questions be sure to comment down below and i will do my best to answer all of them and for now have a phenomenal day and i'll catch you in my next video peace out